Hello, welcome to the video diary. I remember those days when I had hair and uh, <laughs> well, it was a very long time ago, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, back to normal. Before I carry on with this, <laughs> I know, uh, before I carry on with this video, I'm gonna say hi to Zefzan for doing the Cafe Soko with me. You are brilliant. Um, also, hello, Jackie. Thank you for laughing at my jokes when I come into the office in the morning and say things that are funny. I think they're funny. Either that or Jackie's just laughing at me. And Andrea, you watch my videos? That actually means a lot, because like, you're educated. Why are you watching this thing? Turn it off, go and do something more fun. And actually, finally, uh, I'm gonna go to this. I've got to say hi and thanks to, um, well, frankly, whoever bought these to the cabin at Waskasu last week, because I have discovered that Big Wave is, oh, so nice. Just so nice. Um, talking of which, this week we were at the uh, Stars Air Ambulance for the IABC event, and I think you should see a little bit of what happened. Hello, I'm Dan Gold, president of IABC Saskatoon, and we are moments away from kicking off our full season here at Stars Air Ambulance on our 35th season. So it's been cold for a little while and getting cooler, although in a few weeks time I will consider this, what, plus 10, 15 degrees as tropical as it dips to below, I don't know, minus 20? One of the things that's happened is my strawberries are still going, even in these low temperatures, but they're kind of stalling. The tomatoes have just stopped completely. Let me show you. They're looking pretty good and the colour's still healthy and even still got runners going. Gotta love fruit. So that's it for this week's video diary. I know that it's very short, but I'm working on a, an enormous project which I've been working on since November 2015, and I've got to concentrate on it. Um, a big thank you to everyone who I work with for helping me make that project come to this stage, and also to um, all the other partners who are a part of the journey. Um, hopefully soon I'll be able to tell you what it is and where it's gonna go. The other project that I've got going on, and there's a few of them, uh, the other project I've got going on is relating to um, storytelling. Um, I'm fascinated. In the media we often see stories of why people move to where I live because of escaping either persecution or poverty or moving away from a negative situation. But what about the people who move here because they just like it here. And um, what about the people who have left a, what would seem to be an idyllic life? What, the people that live by the sea somewhere, or people who live in a Vancouver, or a Toronto, or a whatever. What were the motivating factors to move here? And more importantly, what is it that they loved that they left behind? Now that's an interesting story. Anyway, I will see you next time. Uh, thank you for watching this video diary. A big thank you to Roland and Michaela in uh, Manitoba for um, being awesome in the last week as well and I look forward to talking to you all soon.